Good afternoon from Disney's Ticket and Transportation Center. We are here today because we're going to go to the Grand Floridian and go check out their new Easter display. Every year they do these fun chocolate eggs that they carve into fun Disney shapes and movies and characters. And they also have this like kind of big treat stand where they sell Easter related treats. We also might go over to the Contemporary. My friend Savannah is here with me today. So yeah, should be a fun day. Why don't you guys come along? Let's go make some memories together. We're gonna hop on the resort monorail, should be there in just a little bit. I think we're gonna get monorail lime. And you said coral? Coral, yes. I don't know how I guessed it correctly, but I was right with lime. It's called cheating. It's not cheating. <laughs> and I remembered we'll get to see the uh, construction for the poly tower. Not a whole lot done, but they're starting to go vertical. I remember what it feels like a couple weeks ago, this was still a, uh, a big pit in the middle. I wonder where that giant tree went. I know they're gonna replant it, but I wonder where they moved it to in the meantime. All right, well, we made it. We're gonna head down to the main lobby and go check out all the Easter stuff. This is part of what we're gonna go see today. It's the Grand Cottage. It's open from March 7th through April 10th. So not a very large window, but it is gonna be that little treat stand down there. It's gonna serve some Easter themed treats. They've got a model display of some of the offerings they're gonna have down there. The cinnamon roll. This whoopie pie looks pretty good. This one looks good. Like a dirt cake. What is that? Peanut butter cereal. Oh, Ooh, that does look good. Uh, Caramel like apple. Carib blondie pop. Ooh. Confetti cake. Oh, that one's cute. I like that. <laughs> There's a hot cross oh, bun. Yeah. Look at the one on the end over there. It's an uh, orange scented cookie sandwich. There's a lot more that they didn't have online that I'm pretty excited to see. I think it's a giant salted caramel egg. That. It looks like, um, what kind of cereal is that? Uh, oh my God, it's uh, Fruity Pebbles. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I don't know why I yeah, uh, blanked on it. Fruity, fruity Mickey Pop. That looks so good. I, mentioned we were gonna, I think I also mentioned we were gonna go check out the Contemporary because I think they also do Easter stuff. They at least do other Christmas things during the Christmas season. So we'll try and swing over there later. Oh wow, they're actively working on one right now. That is so cool. There's a ton of characters on there. And I love representation for older things like Cusco's on there. Oh, they even have Olivia from Great Mouse Detective. In the back side, it's like Ralph, Evil Queen, Olaf. Very cool. Oh my gosh, this giant Kevin and her babies. Are you kidding me? That's so funny. And this is entirely made of candy. Like, this is entirely chocolate. That is so cool. Oh, my gosh. That's that's huge. <laughs> I love it. They even have little, like, placards here that say who the artist is and things they've worked on in the past and what they've chose to work on this year in the future. I don't think I'm going to show all of these, but if you want to take a stop and read what some of these artists have created, go for it. We've got a cool Raya one here. She is. <laughs> she looks really cute. You can kind of see Sisu in the back or something like that. And then down there is Tuck Tuck. <laughs> it's also very cute. Yeah, these are also entirely made of candy. There's a Remy one back there too. Avengers from the first film. And I love this Snow White one. Little cottage. Oh, and the dwarves are at the bottom. I didn't even see them. There's one for Encanto. And they even have... The candle. I wonder if the candle, I don't think the candle's made of candy. Oh, and they have one of Bruno's rats. That's funny. Here's one for Mr. Toad. I think it represents every major character, like all their different outfits. I don't remember what all of their names are. Like, obviously, that's Mr. Toad right there, but I know there's like Molly, and that's all I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> and then Pastoral Symphony from Fantasia, my actual favorite movement. There might be a backside to it as well. Do they all have backsides? Ooh, they do. <gasps> Ooh. It's kind of a shame because like you won't really get to see this unless you like come and hunker over this like marble place setting. But yeah, like there's the backside of the Encanto one of like the, the front door at the very end of the movie. And like you can kind of see Hulk on the back end of the uh, Avengers one. <gasps> I see some Epcot ones. Yeah, not only do they have Orange Bird, which he looks, he looks, he looks like a snowman. He's so cute. He's cool. And then there's the uh, Spaceship Earth's Space Seg Ship Earth. I can't make a pun out of that. I'm sorry. I tried. And they've got like pictures of the countries down below. Oh, I love it. Piper's a nice uh, inclusion from the Pixar short. 
a little honey pot there for Pooh. Oh, I didn't even see those. Yeah, so you've got Aurora with the three good fairies, Cinderella, Rapunzel, Belle, I assume? Yeah. Probably Belle. Got a fun Luca one there too. More little mini eggs. So Mickey, I think Lion King was the other one. So I can get a better look over here. Yeah, Lion King on that one. And then you've got a Dalmatians one. And I know this one's supposed to be Walt, and I love that it is Walt with like the blueprint, but that just looks like Gomez Adams from the Adams Family. They've had this one in the past because I remember seeing this, and that's all I think about every single time. But I do love the inclusion of the white chocolate name tag. Here's the backside of some of them. There's the like casting door, and there's a cute little Mickey there at the bottom. That's adorable. Luca one's kind of hard to make out, but it's like them. They're kind of in the moonlight a little bit. I can't, I can't really tell from here. The backside of the Winnie the Pooh one has like Rabbit's Garden with the carrots and the 100 acre wood sign. Did it glow up on the front side? I don't think so. I think oh, wow. Okay. That's really cool. That's definitely my favorite one so far just because that's probably the most creative. Like the fact that they installed lights on there. Savannah went, I think you're biased. You just love figment. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> now, not necessarily Easter related, but Savannah took me underneath the stairs. Like out there is like the main lobby. And there's this chocolate display of this panther. I feel like I've seen this before on property, but I I want to say it was for some like event a, a number of years ago that they made it. I have no idea. I mean, it's from the Grand Floridian Bakery team. Yeah, they have other chocolate sculptures here. Like they have a Cinderella egg kind of uh, scenery thing. And then they have the Mary Poppins penguins out of the DVC unit. I did a whole tour of the Grand Floridian like a couple weeks ago. I'll link that vlog down below along with all my other tour vlogs where I showed off the other two, but I had no idea this one existed or at least was here underneath the stairwell. It's kind of a hidden location. We're on the backside now of the little like cottage house and they've got a cool little mater one. I assume Lightning McQueen's probably on the other side. This is a clever one right here with the new um, munchlings. munchlings. I, I almost called it a wishable. Rest in peace wishables. I haven't seen those for a while. But they even have like a little like egg decorating thing and they made like a little cupcake of them. Ooh, princess and the frog. Now you're speaking my language. That one's really cute. They did a good job of cutting out that stencil of her. Here's that permanent display of Cinderella. I said egg, it's roughly egg shaped, but yeah, this is also entirely chocolate made by the same culinary team. Not the country bear jamboree. Oh, the guys turn me on. To oh, whoa, oh, wow. <laughs> They're at the club now. Oh, and you got uh, the three mounted heads, Rufus. Doofus and Lufus. Not Doofus and Lufus. I don't remember their names. I think this one's just like a general egg. I think there's probably more on the other side. It's Bambi. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. okay. So, yeah, probably Bambi on the other side then. Cool kind of like, kind of live action Alice one with just like the gears and the steampunkness of it. But Alice with the flowers. I do like the face on the flowers. They did a good job of that one. And then White Rabbit sitting on top. He's very cute. See, what I like about these is sometimes they choose kind of lesser talked about films. Like Sword in the Stone really doesn't get any representation anymore. And the fact that someone went out of their way to make sure that like these low, you know, I don't want to say lower films, but like they aren't really talked about very much. So to see this is, you know, kind of refreshing. And then Disney has some weird partnership or relationship with Studio Ghibli. So like we have a Totoro egg and I know they have like distributing rights here in the States or at least used to. And I know he appears in Toy Story 3 but I didn't know that still kind of existed, but that's a fun one. I think this is just your general like hidden Mickey egg. Just a bunch of little hidden Mickeys everywhere. We'll have to look on the backside to see if there's anything different. And you've got a Main Street one. Right. Again, with the lights are really cool, but you've got, you know, your most iconic things. You've got Elliot and you've got the turtle. Very cool. We've got another Winnie the Pooh one, but this is more like heavily Winnie the Pooh. And I love the use of the storybook in the back. This is a deep cut at this point. Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. I had to actually read the little uh, placard down there to know what it was because I was like, what is this supposed to be? But it's the lamppost. That makes sense. It's been a long time since I've seen this movie and they've got like the little door handles there. But that is also a very cool inclusion. Absolutely massive one of like a Toontown house. So Daisy's house. Very cool. Kind of sad we don't have Toontown anymore, but at least Disneyland does. We're planning on going to Disneyland at least within the next year because it's been probably three plus years since we've been there. See if there's anything along the back sides of these. There's more of the details of the wardrobe from the Lion Witch wardrobe one right there. And then you've actually got the cover of the Pooh book. Thanks for noticing me. 
Nothing on the backs of these. Oh, there's one of the Sword in the Stone with Mad Madame Mim and everything that she transforms into when fighting Merlin. On the back of the kind of realistic Alice one, you've got Cheshire and more flowers. And it gets to just a, a big clock. I like that. There's Bambi. It's weird that only Bambi's on one side. The other side was just regular flowers, but still cute. And on the back of the bears one is like the portraits of all of them. I think that's in like the waiting room when you're waiting to go in. It's got all their like uh, portraits of them. Almost their sequence on the back of the Tiana one. This is the oven for the Munchlings one. I don't quite know what they are. That looks like a calendar or like a bingo board. I can't really tell. I think they're just magnets. I think that's what they are. No Lightning McQueen on the back of that one, but just all the signage for the different stores in Radiator Springs. What do you think your favorite one is so far? Or I guess of the ones that are here. Um, honestly, I'd probably say Kevin, but I think the Country Bridge Jamboree takes the cake for me. It is very cool. Kevin is objectively the coolest. I really do like the Epcot one because I love That's Epcot. True, yeah. I'm having a hard time picking. They did a great job this year. There's not as many deep cuts as I wanted there to be. Because I know, like, what, last year, two years ago, they did, like, Treasure Planet got one. I feel like I've seen Atlantis have one. I said earlier that I'm really glad that some of these, like, lesser-known films or lesser-appreciated films, like Sword in the Stone, get made into one. Because, like, you could make Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella all day long, and everyone's going to appreciate them. But then you get people like me who like the older stuff who yeah. doesn't really get talked about. Yeah, I agree with that. Next year, maybe we'll get a, a Home on the Range one, or or maybe Chicken Little. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, probably not. <laughs> the hours here posted from 11 to 6 every day, and then all the prices are right there. You guys can pause it and look at all the different prices for the season. I don't know what I'm going to pick. Are you still going to get your, your, your hot cross bun? Maybe. Maybe. There's or... a lot more being offered than I thought there was going to be. Yeah. I might go for this dirt cup. It's quite a bit for a single serving, but I can't say no. Plus, that bunny butt's very cute. It's also apparently entirely plant-based, which is wonderful. All right, I went for the plant-based dirt cup with the little bunny butt. She thought it was a Mickey. She's like, it's upside down. It kind of does look like it a does. Mickey as well. It does. <laughs> this was the guava pastry? It's like a guava cream cheese roll. It's Ooh. a little bit warm as well. Not as obviously pretty as yours, however. Yeah. Mine was $7, no discounts. How much was yours? Uh, four fifty. Okay, that's not bad for four fifty, mm -hmm. honestly. I was between this and the hot cross buns, but I think this sold it to me. Okay. I'm sure that would have more flavor than the hot cross bun anyway. They said it was the favorite, so okay. I'll go with the favorite. Yeah, let's do it. There's real no easy way to get into this, because as soon as I put my spoon in there, it started to lift the bunny up and just kind of made a mess. We're going to eat the bunny butt first thing, because that's, that's what's getting in the way. Oh, interesting. Tastes like bunny. It tastes like bunny. No. <laughs> it's um, fondant. It? Oh, it's not even white chocolate? Mm, it's fondant. Look at that. Oh, cross section. Is it good? It's really good. It's really moist. I had to have her record because I couldn't do it with just one hand. It looks a lot drier than I thought it was going to be, so I hope it's good. Um, we'll see. It's so it like is moist. When you're a little kid, those kind of ones? Or it looks kind of dry, honestly. It's actually not. Okay. And I love like little kid desserts, like cereal-based things, gummy bear things. Probably not the most like scenic dessert to get. But I think it's good, and it's not overly sweet, so I don't feel like I'm being overwhelmed by sugar. It's a good choice. It's definitely shareable. Um, but I made the decision to get a big one, so I'm going to finish it all by myself. All right, so we stopped up here at the Contemporary. Savannah looked it up. They do have a menu of some kind of foods or something. I don't know if we're going to get any treats here, but I just want to see if they have any eggs. We couldn't find anything of whether they did or not, so we just decided to come here. It's just a quick ride in the monorail. We're going to head downstairs and uh, see if there's anything in the lobby. And if there isn't, we at least got to see some fun things over at the Grand. We haven't made it down to the lobby yet. We stopped in the gift shop here, but they do have a treat case, which I never even knew existed, of little bunny butt cookies. <laughs> Those are very cute. I don't know if they have any other Easter ones, but they do have a cute orange bird apple. Never knew this that this was in here. Wild. We made it down here to the lobby, which unrelated to anything we're talking about today, but one of the best glow ups in Disney lobby history. I absolutely adore this lobby and I love spending time here. I don't come here near as much as I want to, but gorgeous every time. I'm not seeing any eggs. They may have not actually done anything this year. Oh, I kind of remember seeing that because then they have like a bunch of villains ones for like Halloween or something like that. 
Okay. Well, maybe we're really early in the season. Maybe we'll have to check back here later. But yeah, nothing but the Mary Blair inspired art. Well, friends, our wraps up a fairly short vlog today. Just want to come out here and see some of the Easter things. I feel like I don't really come out here to the resorts to see any of their seasonal things as often as I'd like to. So I'm glad I made this special trip. Really love seeing the eggs out at the Grand. Loved getting my treat. Did you have fun? So much fun. It was an excellent day. Boo. <laughs> well, on that note, thank you guys so much for coming along. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Make sure you guys come out here and see all the seasonal things before they go away. I believe April 10th was the last day. Thanks for making memories with me. We'll see you next time.